Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this eTrailer RV surface mount dinette table. Now this dinette table is going to be the perfect place for your friends and family to gather in your RV dining area. It has been designed to provide a strong and stylish upgrade to your RV. Now this table is made here in the USA with a ultra strong high density EPS foam tabletop core and so that's going to ensure durability and stability in this table and if you notice here this also has uh, an edge banding that's going to reinforce this table and it's going to seal moisture out preventing this tabletop from peeling or cracking or warping. So this is going to be highly resistant to spills. You're not going to have to worry about liquids getting into the table and possibly damaging the table itself. And uh, this uh, cherry finish happens to be one of my favorite that we offer. And we do have uh, other finishes as well that what, whatever is going to work best for the decor in your RV. So as you can see, this does come in cherry and maple and white. And not only do you get your choice of finish, but you also get your choice of uh, trim, whether it's the color matching trim or the black trim. And as I mentioned, this is our cherry laminate finish with the black trim. And so that black trim really um, uh, adds a, a sharpness to the look of this table. Now this table not only comes in different finishes and different trim options, but it also comes in different sizes. So depending on the um, space that you have in your RV dining area, uh, we should have the size that you need. The table that I have here is 42 inches long. And of course, all of our tables are 30 inches wide. So you get an idea of the size of this table. And I'm gonna stand up here on the uh, pallet that we have this mounted to. And uh, this will be a little more stable in your RV than on this pallet. But I, I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and this table comes up to about the middle uh, portion of the top of my leg. So it kind of gives you an idea of the size and the, the height of this table itself. So depending on, um, again, the space that you have that you're needing to fill, we should have the size that you need here at eTrailer.com. Now taking a look here at the lower portion uh, of our table, the, this is, as I mentioned, a surface mount uh, installation. So we have steel table legs here that are going to mount to the floor with uh, the included hardware. And the leg itself has two brackets, one for securing it to the tabletop and one to secure it to the floor. And so this is going to uh, secure directly to the floor. And we also have this table available with just one leg instead of two. Uh, so if, if uh, that's an option that you're looking for and you don't need the two legs, we do have the one leg of, uh, option available. Now, I do wanna give you a measurement of the clearance from the uh, bottom of our tabletop to the floor. So let me see if I can line up my tape measure here to where you can see it. And as you can see from the bottom of our tabletop to the floor, we're sitting right at 28 and a half inches of clearance. So we do have a recessed mount option available as well where the table leg will actually install into your floor. And because of the leg going into the floor, you will lose about two inches of clearance between the bottom of the table and the floor. So if uh, whichever mounting option is best for you, we have those options available here. Now the table can also be removed from the legs and the legs can be removed from the base to provide room for a fold out bed. So let me show you just how easy that is to do. I'm just gonna lift this table off the legs. And again, uh, the table is very manageable. And then once you remove the table, you can remove the legs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this uh, one leg. The overall height of just the leg itself is 27 inches tall and the diameter of the leg is two and a half inches and then the uh, 
the diameter of our base bracket here is six and five sixteenths inches. And so this uh, leg has these two plastic end caps on either end, so you don't have metal on metal uh, rubbing up against each other, whether it's in the base here or in our uh, table bracket. Now I'm going to go ahead and just give you a brief view of the bottom of our table here and talk a little bit about the insulation. So let me go ahead and zoom in again. And at the, uh, the center of our table, we have an internal 26 gauge galvanized steel screw plate that runs about 30 inches long and 10 inches wide. And that plate is going to assist with screw retention when you are installing your brackets onto the table with the included hardware. And uh, so it, as long as you're within that range uh, of 30 inches long and 10 inches wide, uh, you're going to be fine. We just have these stickers here as recommendations for you as to where to put those legs, uh, especially if this is like a, a new install in your RV but you don't actually have to attach your leg um, or your bracket to the sticker. Those are just recommendations. As you can see, I do have some holes here because I installed just one leg here in the center. Um, so you're not gonna have pre-drilled holes, but uh, that was just uh, from a previous install that we uh, did on this table. Now, um, I do wanna mention as well we recommend not making pilot holes into the table during installation, but just to go ahead and screw directly into the table through the plate when you are installing your brackets. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, replace our table back on the legs and just line them up here real quick. And it is as easy as that. So again, table's very manageable, but yet uh, very durable. So if you're looking to upgrade your dinette table in your RV, I think this is going to be a great option for you to consider. We have, like I said, various options for you to choose from in regards to finish, in regards to size, and even uh, mounting options as well to uh, best fit your setup in your RV. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.